Native plants have many attributes that are worthy for your landscape, including the fact that they're adapted to our climate here in the area. They're adapted to our soil types. They require little water once they're established. They also require little pesticides or fertilizer. They're also very good for soil erosion to prevent that and also to improve water quality. As well as attracting wildlife like birds and butterflies, these make great additions to your landscape. CAT sells many of these plants that are native to our landscape and they're grown by utopian plants here in Kansas. In front of me are some of the, of the shrubs that are well adapted to our area. These can be grown in full sun, some in shade, so there's a really wide selection. I've brought a few examples here today. The one here in front on the, to the left is our native uh, smooth hydrangea. This is a cultivar. This one's called Invincible Limetta. There's many different ones, but the uh, hydrangea arborescens are the ones that are native to our climate. And many of these can take full sun. So that's a good example there uh, for a full sun hydrangea. Many people think of hydrangeas as just shade only, but these are well adapted to our suns here in the area. Another good one for sun down here in front of me is the Sweet Spire. And the Sweet Spires, this one's called Little Henry. These have really three seasons of interest. They have the, the bright green leaves, they have flowers. These are just beginning to come on that are white, that are, do attract butterflies, and they're also beautiful fall color with the red leaves uh, happening later this year. Another really good one that's often overlooked is called buttonbush. The native buttonbush can get a little bit large, but these are the cultivars that stay a little smaller, like sugar shack, that only gets about four feet tall. Sugar shack has an interesting white round ball like flower that then turns to a nice crimson red for the summer interest. Another good one, these are in many different varieties are the nine barks. The nine barks are great for use in areas where there's maybe a little bit more water. They can also tolerate less watered areas as well as long as they're kept to make sure they're moist, at least in the hot, dry seasons. These have interesting pretty flowers. This one's red, some of them are white, and they often fade to a pink. And many of them are green leaves, but there's also varieties with the crimson or the purplish colored leaves for added interest. In front of me are some examples of native flowers, ferns, and grasses. These native plants will do well in front of me and some of them will do well in the shade as well as some in the sun. Let's talk about some of those. Indian pink, this one's called little redhead, has beautiful red flowers tinged with yellow. This plant performs well in the shade and does take some moisture. So if you have a wetter area, this one will perform well. Another one for shade that maybe likes a little bit drier is the columbines. This particular one is called winky red and white. These come in a variety of colors a spring blooming plant that will come back year after year. Some of the sun loving ones are some of the ones that are maybe more popular. Things like butterfly weed, blazing star, and of course the cone flowers. In front of me here is one of the examples of the cone flower. This is Pow Wow uh, White. The Pow Wow series comes in a number of colors uh, from red to orange to purple. Uh, the purple cone flower probably one of the most popular and we sell many of those different types of cone flowers here at CAT. The ferns. We have three examples of native ferns that we sell here. This one is a uh, ostrich fern. We also have cinnamon fern, and there's also Christmas fern. These, of course, prefer the shade and sometimes like a little bit more of a moist understory. Cat Wholesale also sells a number of native grasses and sedges for your landscape. In front of me are a few examples of some of the shorter grasses like prairie drop seed and little blue stem. We also sell a number of medium-sized grasses like switchgrass and Indian grass as well as the taller grass species like big blue stem. One overlooked plant for the landscape is a rush, like the one in front of me. This is soft rush, and soft rush is another grass-like plant that really prefers a little bit of moist soil to keep it thriving. So today we're talking about native plant species, and now it's your turn to incorporate these into your landscape design. Native landscapes can create quite a bit of eye appeal, as well as attracting native birds and butterflies and other wildlife to your yard. So come into CAT today and speak with your account representative to learn how to incorporate these plants into your landscape design.